I'm getting I'm nothing from respect. Father. I want good things for Michael. I want him to be a successful man. And oh, please. How? So you come Are you all the way from America me? to get married to a Nigerian man and you're not prepared to have a child. Well, it's then not, go come get him. You want ideal, him? My you sister. want him? Welcome back. The tension between Michael and Angela had been building for months, like a storm gathering on the horizon, until it finally reached a breaking point. The relationship that had once been a symbol of love crossing cultural boundaries had become a battleground of resentment, frustration, and deep-seated anger. The conflict, once simmering beneath the surface, erupted when Angela crossed a line that Michael could no longer tolerate. Angela's fiery temper had always been part of her charm, but as time passed, it became a weapon she wielded with increasing recklessness. She was used to getting her way, often bulldozing through disagreements with sheer force of will. Michael, on the other hand, had grown weary of the constant battles, the insults, and the way Angela treated him as less of a partner and more of a possession. His patience was not infinite, and Angela's latest outburst pushed him beyond his limits. And now she threw the kick at me. Whatever I did, I don't think I deserved that. I feel so embarrassed. I mean, I'm really starting to think things I've done here. And getting to the US, that's not... The incident that triggered Michael's reaction was rooted in Angela's deep-seated insecurities. She had always felt threatened by Michael's close relationship with his family, particularly his mother. For Angela, Michael's mother represented a rival for his affection and loyalty, an obstacle to the complete control she sought over him. The cultural differences between them only amplified this tension. In Michael's Nigerian culture, family is everything, and a mother's opinion holds significant weight, especially in matters of marriage and children. Angela, however, saw this as a challenge to her authority, a threat to her dominance in the relationship. Angela had always been defensive about her inability to have children. It was a sore spot that she tried to cover with bravado, but deep down, it nodded her. She knew that Michael's mother had always wanted grandchildren, and this desire was something Angela could never fulfill. Instead of confronting this issue with compassion and understanding, Angela turned her frustration outward, lashing out at those she perceived as the source of her pain. One evening, after a heated argument about their future and the pressures from Michael's family, Angela's frustration boiled over. In a moment of anger, she unleashed a torrent of insults, directing her venom squarely at Michael's mother. Your mother is nothing but a per African woman. Angela spat, her voice dripping with contempt. She's the reason our marriage fell apart, always meddling, always demanding things I can't give. Michael was stunned. He had endured Angela's verbal assaults before, but this was different. This was not just an attack on him, but on his mother, a woman he loved and respected deeply. The insult cut to the core of his being, not just as a son, but as a man who cherished his culture and his heritage. The room fell silent for a moment, the air thick with the weight of Angela's words. Angela, emboldened by the silence, continued her tirade, her voice growing louder, her words more venomous. She accused Michael's mother of being the reason behind their divorce, claiming that she had poisoned Michael's mind against her. She blamed the older woman for planting the seed of doubt about their relationship, especially when it came to the question of children. Angela's inability to have children was a source of deep-seated insecurity, and she projected this onto Michael's mother, convinced that the older woman had manipulated Michael into leaving her because she could not give him children. But Angela's accusations were far from the truth. Michael's decision to leave her had nothing to do with his mother's wishes and everything to do with Angela's abusive behavior. For years, Michael had endured Angela's tirades, her jealousy, and her need to control every aspect of his life. She treated him not as a partner, but as a subordinate, a boy to be scolded rather than a husband to be respected. The final straw came when Angela began to isolate him from his family, attempting to sever the deep bonds he had with his loved ones in Nigeria. Michael's mother had indeed expressed her wish for grandchildren, as per tradition, but she had never been the cause of the rift between him and Angela. The truth was that Michael had left because Angela had broken his spirit. The love he once felt for her had been eroded by years of verbal and emotional abuse. She had belittled him, questioned his manhood, and treated him with a lack of respect that no man, especially in Michael's culture, could tolerate. The constant power struggles, the public humiliations, and Angela's refusal to acknowledge his worth as a husband had driven a wedge between them that no amount of reconciliation could mend. 
As Angela continued her rant, something inside Michael snapped. The years of pent-up frustration, the constant humiliation, the insults to his culture, his manhood, and now his mother, it was too much. Without thinking, Michael reacted, his hand moving before his mind could catch up. The sound of the slap echoed through the room, a shocking punctuation to Angela's verbal assault. Angela's hand flew to her cheek, her eyes wide with shock and rage. For a moment, there was a stunned silence between them, the gravity of what had just happened sinking in. Michael, immediately regretting his action, stepped back, his heart pounding with a mix of anger, guilt, and sorrow. He had never wanted it to come to this, but Angela's relentless provocation had pushed him to a place he never thought he would go. Angela, however, was not one to back down. Her shock quickly turned to fury. How dare you? She screamed, her voice trembling with rage. You think you can just hit me? I'll have you arrested. I'll ruin you. But even as she threatened him, there was a flicker of fear in her eyes. She realized that she had pushed Michael too far, and now there was no turning back. For Michael, this incident was the final confirmation that leaving Angela had been the right decision. He knew that he could not stay in a relationship where respect had been replaced by resentment and love by control. The slap was a moment of weakness, a reaction born of deep pain and frustration, but it also symbolized the end of a toxic cycle. Michael knew that he could not allow Angela to continue dominating him, nor could he let himself be dragged further into the abyss of their destructive relationship. As the days passed, Michael began to rebuild his life, seeking solace in the support of his family and friends. He knew that he needed to distance himself from Angela, not just physically, but emotionally and spiritually. He sought counseling to help him deal with the complex emotions that the relationship had stirred within him, and he began to rediscover his sense of self-worth that Angela had tried so hard to erode. Angela, on the other hand, found herself increasingly isolated. Her abrasive behavior had alienated many of her friends, and her public image had taken a hit. People began to see her not as the strong, independent woman she tried to portray, but as a bitter, controlling individual who had let her insecurities destroy her relationship. Angela's attempts to smear Michael and his family only backfired, as more people started to sympathize with Michael's side of the story. They saw a man who had tried to make his marriage work, only to be pushed to the brink by a partner who refused to treat him with the respect and dignity he deserved. The narrative of Michael and Angela's relationship, once a tale of cross-cultural love, had turned into a cautionary story about the dangers of control, abuse, and the importance of mutual respect in any partnership. Michael's journey was one of healing and self-discovery, a man reclaiming his life and dignity after being trapped in a toxic marriage. Angela's story, however, was one of loss, loss of a husband, loss of respect, and loss of the power she once wielded with such abandon. In the end, Michael's decision to leave Angela was not just about escaping a bad marriage, it was about reclaiming his identity and his right to be treated as an equal partner. It was about breaking free from a relationship that had become a prison and finding the strength to stand up for himself, even when it meant facing the wrath of a woman who had once claimed to love him. The slap was a moment of painful clarity for Michael, a harsh reminder of the man he did not want to become and the life he did not want to live. For Angela, it was a wake-up call that came too late. She had pushed away the one person who had truly loved her, not because of her flaws, but despite them. Her inability to see past her own insecurities and her refusal to respect Michael's cultural values had cost her everything. And now, as she stood alone, nursing the sting of both the slap and the loss, she was left to confront the harsh reality of the choices she had made and the consequences they had wrought. Thank you for watching.